Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Jenkins. I am back to have some fun with you and make some art. All right, you guys. So I want to introduce our next project. Um, this is an Amate painting. Um, kind of, it comes from the Latin American culture, specifically Mexican culture. Um, and we are going to do a drawing and um, add color to it, just like just like they do in Mexico. Um, so let's talk about what materials you need first. Uh, you need either a piece of either a piece of brown construction paper, um, not too dark. It can be lighter, like this sort of sand color, or something that's more this color. Um, and if you don't have light brown or tan construction paper, you can also use um, a grocery bag, like a brown grocery bag that you can just cut into a size that you want to use. Uh, you'll also need colored pencils or oil pastels. And you will need a black Sharpie marker and a pencil and an eraser, okay? And then you will also need a ruler. Not so much because we're going to make a bunch of straight edges, but because we're going to use the ruler to sort of demonstrate um, angles, different angles of things. Okay, I know this looks a little bit hard, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step, and you will see that it's actually not so bad when you do it step by step with Miss Jenkins. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to begin, you want to have your paper like this in profile view. Um, as opposed to landscape. And the first thing we're going to do, boys and girls, is we are going to draw our birds, okay? And we're gonna do this using simple shapes and then we're gonna elaborate on that. So the first thing you're gonna do is right up here, sort of in the, you know, it's not right at the corner, a little bit lower than that, but sort of the upper right sort of section, you're going to draw a sort of roundish or ovalish head shape for our first bird. And I'd say it's just a little bit bigger than the size of a quarter, okay? And then you're going to add two lines like this that sort of help create the neck, all right? From that point, from this part right here, you're going to curve down and around and then back up slightly, okay? Then, my friends, we are going to create a curved shape right here and that curved shape is going to come up and then curve kind of back down a little bit and this part of that shape is going to curve up and then down a little bit and this is our first wing so then we're going to do these sort of sweeping spiky edged marks that look like that okay if yours go up a little bit at this kind of angle or down more that's totally fine okay and then everywhere here on your little edges where you see those corners go ahead and bring them down into a line that sort of continues in that same direction okay and then you can go ahead and erase this line right here. All right, so erase that line so now the head is connected to our neck. The next part we're gonna do is another wing. And we're gonna do that wing right here. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna curve over to the right and then over sort of downwards a little bit like that. And right here, we're gonna sort of do that zigzag thing again, but I want you to notice the angle that we're working at. If you were to put a ruler like that, you're sort of working in a downwards angle. And then you make a really long one right here and then a really long one right there, okay? Now, this wing is supposed to appear like it's on the other side of this bird. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna continue this neck right here until we get to here, and then you'll end up erasing this line right here, okay? 
then we'll erase, erase, erase. So now it looks like one wing is on one side and the other wing is on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to move up to sort of the tail part, or I don't know what you would call it on a bird, but we're going to move upwards from here and we're going to create sort of like these rounded bumps that eventually come all back down to here again, okay? So it appears almost like a fan. And then all those corners you have there, you can go ahead and bring those lines down and into our tailish area. And then we're going to add our beak right here. Skinny sideways triangle with another skinny sideways triangle. And then we'll add an eye, circle inside of a circle. And then we'll add a couple of little legs or stems. So curve like that. This will become a sharp claw-like thing. And then like that. And then you curve up and around and you do a second, a third piece that then connects to your bird like that. And the other leg, which comes from the other side, curves down like this, up to create that claw shape, around another claw shape, and then like that. And that becomes leg number two, which is on the other side. Okay, so that is bird number one. Let's go ahead and make bird number two. Bird number two is going to be more down here. And it is going to be facing this direction to the left. So we're going to go ahead and draw another sort of oval shaped head, approximately the size of a quarter. And we're going to add a neck like that. And from over here, we're going to add the other side of that neck. And this part here will continue down until it makes a curved shape like that, like a smiley face mouth. And this one here is going to stay where it is. And we're going to come into that part of the body and make a curved shape like that that will continue kind of going up and out. And look how long I take this. I take this part pretty long out and then curving a little bit downwards. Then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna do sort of that angled zigzaggy thing that we've done up there with the other bird. So keep going. And then this last part will come together and sort of be this long long skinny thing right here. You can go ahead and erase this line here that's separating the head from the neck and we'll connect it so now it's all together. And we're going to add the tail piece right here. So right here we're gonna create sort of a curved vertical line. And then from right here, it's gonna come out like that. And we're going to create that sort of bumpy tail-like thing that we did up here. And we'll connect like that. And just like we did some of these lines up here, oh, we need to do it right here too. So where these curves are, the corners, the tips of that area. And we're going to do the same thing right here. So those tips that are kind of coming down and in. And we'll do the same thing right here. So down and in, same thing. Okay, now we're gonna add the other wing to the other side. So this one is going to be a little bit higher up right here. And we're going to come back down. And on this side, we're gonna start it right here. And we're gonna immediately start to do our curved sort of zigzag thing. And this is gonna end up cropping a little bit. 
if your paper is a little bit smaller like mine. And then we're going to add our continuation lines from those corners. Very good, you guys. Are you having fun? I hope so. Okay, then we're gonna add our beak. So skinny sideways triangle, another skinny sideways triangle connected to it, and then a circle with another little circle inside. Finally, let's add our legs. So from here, we're gonna basically draw right along that right there, and then we'll come out and we're gonna add our little claw-like shape, and then another one, and then we'll connect right there to that tail. And our next leg is gonna be here, and curve, and curve, and curve again and reconnect. All right, you guys, we got our two birds. Now it's all about adding our flowers and sort of leafy fern shapes, okay? So this, we've now finished the hard part, you guys. We have finished the tough part. It's time to move on to what's going to be a little bit easier for you. All right, here we go. So up here, we're gonna create a flower. So you create a circle for the middle and then I know you guys can do this. You're just creating the petals, okay? And in order to sort of get a symmetrical flower, it's a good idea to turn your paper as you work. It's easier to sort of get a more accurate flower that way. All right, so there is flower number one. And over here, attached to this body right here, we're going to create these curved leaf shapes that remind us of these edges on the wings. And this is kind of like a fern leaf thing. And then it connects up to the flower. And it sort of has a little stem right there. And then we do the same thing on this side until it ends into the head right there. So that's one there. Then we're gonna add another flower right here. And if you wanna do different kinds of flowers, you can totally do that, you guys. You can do whatever kind of flowers you wanna do. Um, but I'm going to just probably do a couple of different ones. And this is cropped, so it's gonna be you know covered by this petal here. And you can make another one of those sort of fern shapes. So here's my neck or like my stem. And then up and back down, up and back down, up and back down. Same thing on this side, up and back down, up and back down, up and back down, up and back down. All right, now we're gonna make a little fern leaf thing right here. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna go up and back down, up and back down up and back down, up and back down. Just gonna keep going until I bump into this flower right here. And I'm gonna do the other side of it. So up and back down, up and back down. Just keep going, repeating the same steps until you get there. Then I'm gonna add a different kind of leaf right here with a curved shape, a more traditional leaf that you're probably more used to. And I'm gonna add another flower right here. This flower is gonna be kind of curved and coming to a point, curved and coming to a point. And I'm gonna do another one there, cropped, meaning it's covered by this leaf here. And on this side, it's also cropped again by the edge of the paper curve to a point, curve back down, and then you can sort of do the same style of flower petals in between the four that you already have. And we need our little fern shape again. So, up and back down, up and back down, up and back down. Then this side, up and back down, and then we're gonna create another flower right here. And this flower is also cropped by this fern right here. So you can essentially 
fill your picture up with ferns and flowers as much as you want, as much as will fit, okay? Um, leaving a little bit of brown space, you know, don't like cover every single section, but you can certainly make it crowded the way the actual original artworks are. They're a little bit more crowded. Okay, so it looks like I can add perhaps another leaf right here, like the more traditional style, and another small one next to it right here. And I'm going to add a flower right here. And I'm going to do this flower like this flower. And like I said, boys and girls, you can do whatever flower you want to do. It is up to you. This is not meant to be one of these things where you copy me exactly. I am definitely showing you how to draw some things, but at the end of the day, you are creative souls and you are creative human beings who have your own thoughts and ideas and creative tendencies. So my job is to teach you some things and you can use that resource of me showing you things on a video as closely as you want to or simply for inspiration. At the end of the day, it is up to you. So I just want you to have a good time while you do this. So if that means you change things and things become different, that is totally fine, okay? All right, so we have our, so we have our drawing. Um, I would have probably, I would probably add a little bit more if I had time, but I want to go ahead and start showing you colors. Um, all right, so if you want to use oil pastels, you can use oil pastels. If you want to use um, color pencils, you can use color pencils. Before we start coloring, though, um, I'd like to show you a few details that you can add to your, uh, to your stuff that you've already drawn. So you can add, for example something like that there that you then split into three sections we're sort of adding some texture some patterns into our actual um, wings into the feathers to kind of give it just a little bit more something so for this one I would probably just go ahead and take these lines all the way up all the way up all the way up and for this one I'll probably just do this again repeating some of that but again you don't have to do this it is totally up to you and then I'm going to do the same thing right here and I'll do something right here as well I think I'm going to do this and then I'm going to curve like that and then I'm going to repeat this pattern again and this will help me separate those sections like that. And then, boys and girls, you can start to color. And I recommend bright and beautiful colors, okay? Um, it's up to you how you color this. But ultimately, when you add color, you want it to be bold and beautiful. Um, you want it to appear um, not light, okay? So, for example, you don't want to color so it's really light like that instead you want to push hard with your oil pastels or with your color pencils to really get some bright colors in there so if you're doing color pencil you would push hard like that and for example since I'm doing something with orange blue looks gorgeous with orange so maybe I'll do my petals in different blues so I could do that then I could do this different blue right here. Generally, go ahead and outline things before you fill them in and then fill them in. And I would probably just go through and just keep alternating. If you use oil pastels, you can even use both at the same time. Um, you are able to push hard with oil pastels as well and they will also be nice and bright you don't want the oil pastels to look like that like crayons okay so i'm going to um, do one more thing for you the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paper 
and you are going to wrinkle it up. We're basically trying to create the appearance of sort of faded, older paper, which a lot of times um, really thin papers that were handmade were used for this artwork. And sometimes what was used um, was like little pieces of like, like they would make leather. So you wanna work that paper out. And I really should have had you do this before you started color. So try to remember to crinkle up that paper carefully before you start adding color, especially if you're using oil pastel, because that will smear as you can see here. But if it's color pencil, it's okay. But this is the finished project um, based on what I just showed you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this project and I want you to take your time. There's no real due date for this stuff, guys. This is just for you to spend some time being creative, doing what is naturally comforting to you and getting to stay connected with me in some way. All right, I love you guys and I can't wait to see what you create. Please remember to post your pictures on Seesaw, Google Classroom and or Facebook. All right, bye guys.